also to Wembley for the grand finale of the soccer season. Programmes all a flutter. Quite understandable if the hearts of 22 men were doing much the same. Preston, first second division team to reach the final since 1949, are presented to the Earl of Harwood, the FA's new president. Now West Ham. It's their first appearance in a peacetime cup final since the drama of that historic opening match at Wembley in 1923. At the toss-up, West Ham skipper Bobby Moore and Preston's Nobby Lawson, referee Arthur Holland. All set, let battle commence. Preston kick off. Proud Preston in their third Wembley Cup final. And a taste of things to come for the London club back at Wembley after 41 years. Could Preston make history? A second division club hasn't won the cup since 1931. But the Hammers are history conscious too. They take it away from North End. Winger Braybrook to Johnny Byrne, and Jeff Hurst gives goalie Kelly a shock. More heart-in-the-mouth moments for the Irish keeper. Preston, the first club ever to achieve the cup and league double, opened the scoring in the ninth minute. Kendall started things off. Dawson shoots, Stanton fails to collect it, and Holden pops it in. Bobby Moore didn't need to say a word. The West Ham boys went hammering after that equaliser. Barely a minute later, Moore gave young John Sissons his chance. The 18-year-old took it like a veteran. Sissons is an England youth international like Preston's 17-year-old Kendall. Both young players winning praise from everyone for their poise and confidence. The last word in the first half was undoubtedly Preston's. From a Wilson corner, Alex Dawson heads it home. Preston won up, and while we wondered if they'd be marching to victory, the guards took over. The Prime Minister didn't attempt to forecast this result. Second half underway. Hammers inside left Hurst, number 10 to centre forward Byrne. Then after only seven minutes, a corner to West Ham. Wilson takes it. Jeff Hurst shoots on the rebound and Kelly just fails to save. West Ham level again, 2-0. Then even worse luck for Preston's goalie Kelly, he was down with an injured thigh. An injury at such a time can throw even the most hardened cup finalists. Fortunately, Kelly was able to carry on but a disabled goalie can have a sobering effect on his team's morale. There was little sign of it in the full-blooded Preston attacks which followed. Right through the half, each side matching the other in pace and stamina. Two goals each and only minutes left. Into injury time and the Hammers hammering at Preston's door. They broke through in the last minute of the match, one of the most dramatic winning goals ever seen at Wembley. Scorer, Ronnie Boyce. So West Ham win the FA Cup. A magnificent sequel to their victory over the cup holders in the semi-finals. Bobby Moore receives the trophy from the Earl of Harwood, the cup which today can be a passport to even greater things among the cup holders of Europe.
Well done, Hammers. Right on the nail.